I'm Marion Abbott, and this is my podcast about living and working as an artist. At one of my steady paycheck jobs I held, I had the privilege of working side by side with a nursery school. They rented a portion of the building I worked in, so every day I had a front row seat to their program. I got to see the various forms of goodbyes by parents, some literally running to their cars before their child realized they were gone, some physically unable to let go of their child. And I got to listen to the daily, what month is it song? November, no, anyway. (laughs) And the daily weather report, it's cloudy, it's sunny. But my favorite thing to watch was the children at playtime. As you can imagine, there were all kinds of PlayStation set up by the amazing staff. There was the standard house scenario with a play kitchen. And of course, an area that had various types of building blocks. There were also sensory tables that changed week to week, sometimes sand, sometimes water, sometimes shredded paper. But of course, the true magic was when the children themselves found new ways to expand on what was provided. They would put on Disney princess dresses and pretend to be aliens fighting stars that had come to life. A little girl would play restaurant and bring various toys to her customers and present them as meals. And in all the time that I had the opportunity to watch these sweet little souls playing, I never once saw one of them say no. When a child asked another child, would you like to play robots with me, zoo with me, coloring with me, monsters with me? The answer was always yes. I once hosted a masterclass taught by the amazing Tom Allison. I love you, Tom. And during the class, he said, it isn't helpful or productive to arrive at a rehearsal locked up and closed off. It isn't the director's job to find the code to unlocking you. It is the artist's job to show up open and ready to play. It is the artist's job to show up open and ready to play. So many times I've been disappointed by artists unwilling to try things in rehearsal or at a festival I was adjudicating. The joy is in the play. Try new things and see where it leads. But we artists get so wrapped up in our fears and technique and worries about being good enough that play ends up being the last thing on our minds. I totally get it. And yet... Adding the element of play is often the difference between great and superb. So how can you add more play to your artistic practice? Chances are you know the answer to that question, but just haven't given yourself the luxury of the time to do it. Well, I'm here to encourage you to give yourself the gift of that time to play. Not only will it be fun, but I'm willing to bet that you'll discover something within it that will take your art to the next level. Need suggestions of how to add play to your artistic practice? Drop me a line and let's brainstorm it together. I'm Marion Abbott and I endeavor to include play in my work as an artist. Hey, it's Marion again. I just want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. I know that your time is valuable and I promise never ever to take that for granted. In the show notes below, there's all kinds of ways that you can contact me or follow me on my social media channels. And hey, I would love to work with you. Check out the information on my website and let's make it happen. Have an amazing day.